So in this video, we're going to take a look at how to draw the net of a triangular prism and also use that net to find its surface area. So we're only going to have a quick look at one example here because I've already made a video for you on cubes and cuboids. So if we're going to draw the net for the shape in front of us, we'll start off again with the base. And that is a three by four rectangle. So let's draw that out first. Now we'll say that one centimeter is two of my squares. So that's how we're going to start this. And we will count and we'll have the four going down perhaps. So one, two, three, four centimeters down. So that's kind of like corresponding to that line there, look. And then three across, one, two, three. And then we'll make that blue square. So the blue square in the diagram is the same as the blue square there. Okay, now the next side we'll think about, what about doing that back side there look? Okay, so I'll, I'll put it in red on the picture for you. So that connects to the four length on the blue triangle, right? Okay, so that's fine. And uh, it goes four up. So it's like a four by four square. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, so that now has the correct dimensions that match the shape. Okay, now what about that diagonal side? So that's going to be quite confusing. Well, it connects at the bottom to the other side of that uh, blue rectangle. And the length here I'm drawing in green is five centimeters, right? So that means we've got to go across five centimeters. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. So that is the correct dimensions for a four by five rectangle. And that works quite nicely. Now, we haven't done the hardest bit, and that is, of course, those triangles. So the triangles, we have to be very careful. Now, the right angle connects the, and is close to both the blue and the red rectangles. So we need to make sure we think about that, right? And of course, let's think of it now in black, okay? So the front section, the straight part, the perpendicular part is right there, where the blue and the uh, red rectangles meet. So let's count one, two, three, four. That is that height there. We've already got that base, one, two, three. So we'll join those up with a diagonal line. And again, you're gonna use a ruler. And if you measure it, it will be five centimeters. But what's really important is that we have the same things matching. Imagine that this is gonna fold up to connect with this. And of course they will, because they're the same um, lengths. Let's do the one at the top, because we have two of these triangles, one at either side. So the same principles apply. One, two, three, four and then we'll join that down there, and that completes our net. And of course, if we measure this length here, which we know is five, it should be the same as this length here, which again, should be five. Um, really important that they all fit together, otherwise we're gonna have gaps in our net. Now, second part of this question is to work out the surface area. So let's do that first. This time, let's start with the triangles. So to work out the area of a triangle, we've got to do the base times the height and then divide it by two. So that is going to be six centimeters squared. So both of them are the same. So let's write that in there, six and six. The blue rectangle, the base will be three times four. Well, that's going to be 12. We have the red square, which is four times four. Well, that is gonna be 16. And then we have the green rectangle, which is five by four, which is 20. So we need to add up all of these different uh, lengths. So we're gonna have to do six and a six and a 12 and a 16 and a 20. Okay, so six and six is 12 plus a two is 14 plus a six is 20. 
and then a one, a one, a two, and a two is going to make a six. So in total here, we're going to have 60 centimeters squared, and that's how we work out the surface area. We add them all up. Okay, I hope that helps. I'm hopefully you can do the questions now.